Okay, let me give you an example. So most of us have taken a good hike up to the top of a hill and we're full of endorphins and we look out and we go, oh, I get it. Everything just seems perfect in this moment. We may have taken a psychedelic drug. We may have been dancing a lot and got our endorphins up, maybe during sex, maybe during uh, uh, drumming, sometimes in meditation. There's a lot of, the world has developed a lot of activities that can bring you this state. Even breathing a lot, like holotopic breathing, can bring you into these states where for a moment you glimpse, oh, everything's perfect. And then we go back, the mind starts chattering the monkey mind, like they call it in Buddhism, the mind starts chattering, going, that's really too hot in here. It's really too cold. I can't stand this person I'm talking to. Whatever the mind is chattering. In, this, in the tantric worldview, it's like, wow, look at all these delicious people. So look around at these delicious people here. Go ahead. <laughs> Notice that after people introduce themselves, they look more attractive to you than when you first walked in. So when I used to try to date, I would walk in here and I'd go, there's nobody here. Swipe, 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 swipe. And after I started incorporating tantric principles, I started seeing what was right with people. So we're going to practice some of these exercises today because I can talk to you about it, but unless you can actually experience it, it's just going to be something you learn about and it won't actually change you. So we're hoping to help, get, help you get in a relaxed state where you can get a little bit more of that, hey, it's good. So, uh, one of the first things about Tantra that's different than this yogic worldview is that we are in the body. And the kind of worldview that I grew up in was the Judeo Christian, which is that the body is, sensuality and the body are not on the way to God. The body should be, you think of those. You've heard of those uh, monks in the Middle Ages that used to flagellate themselves and that was supposed to get them more spiritual. You know what I'm talking about, those cat and nine tails? Or people who starve themselves or all these kinds of things that the body is sinful. And in Tantra we go, hey, the body is the playground. This is where I'm gonna really learn joy, sex, love. This is where I experience it and by going totally into the body, and not just the genitals, but the entire body, that's how I'm going to experience God. It's possible. It's possible as a, as a potential to experience God this way also. And heaven isn't later. Heaven is now. But my mind is telling me this isn't heaven. Because my mind is busy with I don't know, I wish they would have done this in here, and you know, I don't know, these aren't the right people, and the mind is always doing this. So, in all meditation, we practice tuning out the mind, trying to be quiet, because the mind, let, let run amok, will just drive us crazy. So we try to separate from what the mind is telling us, get into a relaxed state, and invite this feeling of, heaven is now. Heaven is now. <laughs> 